Greetings, citizens! Just a guy has arrived, and this is Creature Romances. Coco Noe, Kokoro. Last time, we met our beautiful, adorable, sweet, helpful childhood friend, Coco Noe, Kokoro, and we met this fellow, Masato, and we now are currently trying to escape the blazing sun by sneaking off to the changing rooms, because of, of course, that's a thing that we do, and, you know, without any further delays, let's, let's see what happens. Dot. The changing room is locked. Well, that was anticlimactic. What the hell is this? He shakes the doorknob hard enough that a huge rattling sound can be heard. Hey, hey, stop! You'll let everyone know we're here! Dude, you, you wanna get caught, man? Jeez, keep your cool. Damn it! I won't just let them lock us out! It can't be helped. We can't back down now. If we go back completely empty-handed, we'll just be losers! Huh? Wanna take a peek at the girls swimming, that is. Okay, let's go! Wow, well, you just, you're just jumping right into that. Alright, no, no questions about it. Alright. You're, you're, you're down, Ichi Dottle. We quietly move to the poolside and sneak a peek beyond the fence. Hey, Ichi Dottle, this is good. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna rub my hands together. Oh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I don't think I've ever seen a protagonist that just jumps in like this. <laughs> Oh, I'm tugging up my shirt here, oh boy. Oh, I can't help but get nervous at such a sight. Oh man, it's a beast for the eyes. Before my eyes is a strikingly beautiful figure. K Kokoro. Her glossy, shiny exoskeleton and those plump, soft breasts. That butt that feels... <laughs> That butt that feels like you can just slap. Why is that what you're thinking about anyway? Like that, that's kind of not okay, dude. But like, if you're looking at someone, man, I want to just smack that. I, 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 whatever, fine. That butt that feels like you can just slap your palm on it, and that silhouette that tightens up just perfectly. Don't just keep staring at Kokoro. That's not true. I'm not. Gosh, don't pick on me. Liar. Pretty. She sure is top and lady. God. Even for a childhood friend, it's been a while since I last saw her like that. Well, yeah. She sure has grown. I mean, look at those feelers. Really erotic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's Kokoro's turn to swim. Splish! Her gorgeous form jumps in right at the blow of the whistle. Twee! She swims rapidly, the water slicing apart in front of her. Her speed outclasses all the other girls as they struggle to catch up. Fast, as usual. <laughs> uh. Amazing! That girl has been naturally exceptional at swimming since she was a little kid. According to Kokoro, the web between her fingers is much wider than it is for others. <sighs> Didn't she mention that she dreams of becoming a swimmer or something? Mm -hmm. Then is she aiming for a spurts university then? I don't think so. That was when we were still little kids. Now she's aiming for Tokyo U. I see. You sure know a lot. Mm -hmm. We we've just stuck together a lot. Jeez. Oh, she's up. As expected, Kokoro takes the top spot. The water runs off her and rivulets as she steps out of the pool. Well, sh shall we head back? Yeah. Let's go before they find us. We leave the pool behind with our regrets. Okay, gentlemen. It's the end of classes, and the room is now empty, with the exception of me waiting for Kokoro to complete her classroom duties, of course. 
Just when it's time for her to return, a glimpse of Kokoro's face can be seen through the gap in the door. Sorry if you waited too long. Sure kept me wait. Oh, dude, dude. Is that, is that a translation thing, or are you just being like a dick here? Yeah, God, how dare you? As you're apologizing, I'm gonna rub it in. I guess you're right. Shall we go home? Yeah, let's go. Unless you want to make me wait some more, God. Oh yeah, do you mind stopping by the supermarket for a bit? Sure, you buying something? I'll be making dinner at your house, okay? Eh? Eh? No, it's okay. Aw, oh, you don't need to hold back. What did you have yesterday? Corner store bento. You can't do that! Itsumi is here too, you know? The mentioned Itsumi would be my sister, Ichinose Itsumi. We're currently living by ourselves since our parents are away for a while. Hmm. Yeah, you did kind of mention that, very recently in fact. But then, your cooking skills are... I've been practicing. Besides, how long has it been since I've made dinner at your house? Since seventh grade, I, I guess? Half a decade? You'll be surprised at how far I've progressed. Oh, I can't wait! Kokoro's face is beaming right now. There goes any chance of saying no. Okay, I totally look forward to it, really. Yeah, leave it to me! Yay! Pardon the intrusion! Tadaima! No reply. No one seems to be around. Looks like Itsumi is still out. Because of after school activities? Probably. Which club did she enter again? The Track and Field Club. Oh, sounds like a tough time. She's gonna she is going to return home with an empty stomach. That's right. She always likes having cup noodles when she returns. Ugh, you can't do that, you know? Hmm? You're a growing boy, so you need to eat properly. Weren't we, weren't we just talking about my sister, though? Hold up a minute. Well, it's only during my parents' absence. Nope, I'm preparing dinner from now on. Yes! Well, that depends on your skills. Blah. Well, that depends on your skills. Big you, big words from you. Jeez, you better watch out. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, let me just go get this apron I have not been conveniently waiting to give you just for this moment. I mean... <clears throat> Itsumi also needs to eat properly so that she doesn't suffer from malnutrition. She then begins arranging all the groceries she bought in the kitchen. By the way, uh, wh wh what are you making? Since I was browsing magazines while Kokoro was grocery shopping- Man, you are a dick! I don't know what she brought, but... Can't you see from all the ingredients here? Now I'm kind of worried. Potatoes, carrots, onions, koriru? Nikujaga! Huh? Eh? You kidding? Eh? Not fancy, Nikujaga? This situation is getting funny. Whoa! Not, not a look I want to see. Just kidding! You thought I was actually serious, didn't you? Uh, y yeah, it's a joke, right? It's tell, tell me it's a joke. Well, yes. Her face burns red with her irritation. I suppose I'm being rude, even if she is terrible at cooking. Uh, you've been kind of rude uh, a little more than just now, but yeah, sure, you are. Jeez, it's curry. Ishitaro, you like curry, don't you? Yeah, Itsumi likes curry too, so it's fine. That's good to hear. I'm gonna go start. I'm going to start. So just take it easy and wait, okay? Thank you. The kitchen explodes. <laughs> the kitchen explodes. Everyone dies, and that's the end.
Are, were there any survivors? I don't know. You'll have to find out next time. And until then, I'm afraid that this Citizens is, perhaps forever, we'll have to find out. Fuuuuck!